Hello, it's the 13th of October, and October on Booktube we celebrate Victorian literature, we call it Victober. And for Victober I'm going to be starting Barnaby Rudge. I'm starting today because there's a read-along of Barnaby Rudge on Goodreads with the Victorians group. Barnaby Rudge is... I don't know much about Barnaby Rudge. Barnaby Rudge is a historic novel. Dickens wrote two historic novels, this one and The Tale of Two Cities, and this one is connected to the Gordon Riots of 1780, and apart from that I know very little about it. I don't even know who the titular character Barnaby Rudge is yet, but I will do soon. My name is Jim, this is my channel Books, Reading and Stuff. I'm reading Barnaby Rudge not just because there's a read-along, but because I have this long-term project to read all of Dickens' novels. Um, I've only got two left to read, this one and Nicholas Nickleby. Last October, I started Martin Chuzzlewit and finished it at the beginning of December. Uh, this has an American flag on because it's the only novel of Dickens that was partially set in America. This one has a crow on it, I don't know why. I imagine because it's Dickens, it will have his usual wit, his eccentric characters and a gripping plot. Apart from that, I know very little about this going into it and that's how I like it. The Goodreads Readathon, which starts today. In the first week, it takes us through the first eight chapters up to page 78. The, this version of the novel is 648 pages. And the readathon continues until December the 21st, which is a good pacing for Dickens. The chapters are quite short. I'll put a link to the Goodreads readathon in the show notes below. Uh, if you've read Barnaby Rudge, did you enjoy it? Don't spoil it in the comments, but let me know what your thoughts on it are. And... I shall keep you updated how I progress as the weeks go on. If you enjoyed this video, you can give it a thumbs up. This will help me with the YouTube algorithm. I'll see you in the next video.